Hi everyone. In this video, let's discuss about the new topic that is uh, principles of inheritance and uh, variation. So basically, this is a topic which is there under the genetics. Now, genetics refers to the transmission of the characters which is being involved that is called as heredity. So, the branch of biology which deals with the heredity and uh, variations. So, that is called as uh, genetics. So, the genetics became very uh, popular because of uh, a scientist known as uh, Gregor John Mendel. So, he is being regarded as a father of uh, the genetics. Right. Now, in this video, initially, we will be discussing regarding the terminologies which are being uh, involved in case of the genetics. Okay. And thereafter, we will discuss regarding the other aspects which are being included under the genetics topic. So, principles of inheritance and variation. So, inheritance is a word which is being used where the characters which are being present in the parents, so those are being uh, transmitted or they are being transferred to that of the next generation. So that phenomena where the characters are being sent from one generation to the next generation, so that, that is called as a inheritance. Variations. Variations are the differences which are being seen or the changes which are being noticed in an individual. Either these changes may be morphologically or they may be genetically or behaviorally. Okay. And these variations, what actually is the reason why the individuals to the parents which is being born, why it differs from their parents? Why it has these changes or differences? Because the differences which are being seen in an individual, that is because uh, the sexual reproduction which occurs in case of the human beings. So, a male gamete has uh, 23 chromosomes whereas and along with that the female gamete also has uh, 23 chromosomes. So, when these two gametes when they fuse together, so both the maternal as well as the paternal uh, chromosomes will fuse thereby the characters which are being regulated. <coughs> so, those also will get fused and thereby uh, possibly that is the reason the individuals will have the variations. Now, in case of the terminologies, what basic uh, uh, definitions uh, you have to remember in case of uh, the genetics are, so there let us start with the terminologies. The first one is called as Mendelian factor or it is called as Mendelian element. So, Mendelian element is a unit of inheritance and expression of a hereditary character. So, this is as it was being explained for the first time by Mendel, it is being called as Mendelian factor or element, which states that it is a unit of inheritance, which means it keeps on transferring from one generation to the next generation and expression of a hereditary character, which means a particular a particular Mendelian factor is able to uh, transfer a particular character to the from the parents to that of the offspring. So that was called as a Mendelian factor or Mendelian element. Now this word, the factor was used by Mendel, but later in the year 1909, Johansson, okay, so he replaced the word factor that is by that of the gene. Now, what is a gene? Gene is a unit. It is a unit of uh, uh, or a segment of the DNA. Okay. Unit or a segment of a DNA which gets inherited from one generation to another generation. Means it is a specific portion of a DNA segment uh, which uh, controls a specific trait or a character and that keeps on inheriting from one generation to the next generation. So that is called as a gene. Now how gene is there? See for example, if I take a chromosome here, okay, so what you can find is when we unwind this chromosome, we are able to see that the chromosome is nothing but 
it is a densely compact part of the chromatin fiber so when we analyze this so what do we get is like this okay chromatin fiber and when we enlarge a particular part okay so that specific part of that dna okay which controls a character so that is being called as a gene next is what is a character as i said a character is being regulated by a gene now what is a character so character is a well defined morphological or the physiological feature of an organism or an individual morphological or physiological feature of an organism so for example if we take uh, height height is basically a character of an individual either it may be a plant or it may be uh, an animal height okay so that will be one particular character there after is eye color there after is skin color there after is hair pattern so these are the various of the examples of a, a character where it is a morphological or the physiological feature that is being seen in case of the individual that is called as character and this character is being regulated by a gene next is a trait so trait is a distinguishing feature of a character which means character and traits are the two different terminologies where character is a morphological feature of an organism or an individual while the trait which is there so this is the feature the distinguishing feature or a peculiar feature of a character for example if i take height okay height of a plant if i take or height of an individual if i take so height becomes the character so what is the nature of the height whether the individual is tall or dwarf so that tallness or dwarfness okay so that is being called as a trait okay so that is called as a trait so that is about the character and uh, the trait so trait is a distinguishing feature of a character so for example if i take uh, eye color as a character so what is the color of the eye whether it is brown whether it is black okay whether it is blue for example if i take a uh, uh, color of a flower so color of the flower so whether it is uh, red yellow or pink or black so those which are there color of the flower is a character and whatever the different colors are there so that forms uh, the trait next is uh, allele alleles are also called as allelomorph and these allele the word allele was been coined by bateson in the year 1902 so how do we define an allele allele is an alternative form of a gene which occurs or which is being present on a particular place or locus of a homologous chromosome means uh, for example if i take uh, see for example if i take here so here this is a particular portion of the chromosome a homologous chromosome okay so here what we can say for example okay so this is a homologous chromosome let us assume this okay right now this part which is there this is a specific part so this specific part means that is a locus what i am talking about so in this particular part there is a presence of the allele so similarly the allele is nothing but alternative form of a gene which occurs on the same loci of a homologous which means if an allele is present here for example let us take a capital t so that it is this particular part there will be presence of the another allele so that will be okay that will be the alternative form of a gene so for example here for example if i say capital t capital t so this is a gene which has two alleles and these two alleles are written under uh, the capital letters both together forms a gene okay and these two are being located 
एट अ पर्टिक्युलर प्लेस ऑफ द होमोलॉगस क्रोमोसोम सो हियर टी कैपिटल टी हियर ऑल्सो इट विल बी द सेम दैट इज कैपिटल टी बट द अलील कैन बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैपिटल डी कैपिटल टी और इट मे बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी और इट मे बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी सो वेरिएशन आर बींग सीन अल्टरनेटिव फॉर्म्स आर देयर ऑफ अ पर्टिक्युलर जीन सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अलील फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव अ कोको कोला सो दिस कोको कोला वे हैव वेराइटीज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वेराइटीज आर देयर ओके so one is a diet coke one is a classic coke okay so that varieties which are there that is like a allele the main is the coca cola that is a gene okay so similarly that is allele alternative form of a gene which occur on the same loci same loci of a, a homologous chromosome so that is called allele so allele control different expression or trait of the same character as i was telling for example stem height here i have taken so this stem height is being regulated by the alleles so they control different expression so this capital d capital t which i have taken here so this expresses the tallness so tallness is a trait small t small t what i have written here so this expresses an another different expression that the individual will be dwarf so that is the trait so allele control different expression of the trait of the same character which means if i am considering height as a character so tallness or dwarfness so that is only being regulated by that particular gene not all okay no not other characters which are there it has been confined to one particular character so that is being controlled by the allele next is a dominant allele so dominant allele basically is a word where this allele expresses itself either it may be in the homozygous condition or it may be in the heterozygous condition so here you can see two capital t's are there and here you can see one capital t one small t so a dominant allele is that which expresses in homozygous condition or in a heterozygous condition so always the dominant alleles are being written in capital letters capital t capital t so here in this individual you can see that the capital t is a dominant allele and the other one is called as recessive allele so one thing you have to remember is the dominant allele expresses both in a heterozygous condition as well as in a homozygous condition okay next what is a recessive allele so recessive allele is that allele which only express in recessive sorry homozygous condition but not in a heterozygous condition which means here you can see small t small t i have written here so in this condition only the recessive allele is able to express but not in a heterozygous condition why because in this heterozygous condition there is a dominant allele so this dominant allele suppresses the activity of this recessive allele okay na so this recessive allele is unable to express when there is presence of a dominant allele so that is what we call recessive allele which express only in homozygous condition but not in the hybrid or heterozygous condition and recessive allele are always written in small letter dominant allele are always written in capital letter next is wild and mutant allele wild allele is the very common what we find in the population so wild allele is generally an original type and that is being wide spread in a population so wild allele as i said it is basically a normal allele which has been commonly seen in a population which is being wide spread so that is wild allele and remember wild allele is always dominant 
and this wild allele is being shown in the superscript. Now, what actually is a scroll superscript? For example, for example, if I take uh, capital W, so this is dominant allele. Why? Because as I said, it is the originally present in a population and it is the most widespread. So this wild allele, as I said, always it is dominant. So thereby I am writing a capital letter. Okay. So it has been shown with that of a superscript. So if this superscript is being noticed, then it is being regarded as a wild allele, which is a dominant allele, which expresses by suppressing the other recessive alleles. Now, when the there is a change in that of this wild allele, okay now, so that change in that of the wild allele gives rise to the mutant allele and mutant alleles are always recessive, okay now. So whenever there is a dominant allele, I mean a wild allele and a mutant allele, it is the wild allele will, will express while the mutant allele does not. Okay, because wild allele is dominant, whereas the mutant allele is a recessive. Okay, next, homozygote or homozygous individual. Now, what is this homozygous or homozygous individual? So, that is the word which was being coined by Bateson and Saunders in the year 1902. So, homozygote refers to an individual having an individual has uh, two identical alleles or similar alleles two identical alleles or similar alleles for a particular character so here see it may be capital t capital t which means both the alleles are dominant here and small t small t so both the alleles are recessive so both are similar, both the alleles are identical to each other. So that is what we call homozygous or homozygote individual. See capital R, capital R, capital W, capital W. All these are either they may be, both may be dominant or both may be recessive. So they should be identical to each other. So that is homozygote. Next is heterozygote. So this word is also being coined by uh, Bateson and Saunders in the year 1902. But heterozygous individual or heterozygote refers to uh, an individual having dissimilar alleles or non-identical alleles for a character. Now here you can see one is a capital, that is one is capital T, the other one is small t. So one is a dominant allele, the other one is recessive allele. So together what we call it as, as a heterozygous condition or a hybrid. Capital R small r, capital W small w. So where you can see that one is a dominant, the other one is recessive. Which means both the alleles are non-identical to each other. So that is what we call as a heterozygous or a heterozygote individual. Okay.